Hey everyone, my name is Bradley. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to review the Cannula Pro homebrew canning machine after having seen 600 cans over a period of about four months. If you like the idea of this kind of content, please consider subscribing. It really helps the channel out. Research it, mash it, boil it, ferment it, drink it, analyze it, share it. Home brewing is good. So like I just said, I've seen over 600 cans. I've had some, uh, some negative experiences and some positive ones. Definitely a lot of dialing in. I'll save that to the end, so stick around for that, please. So the very first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna share with you guys what I think should be the first thing that you put into cans with your Cannula Pro or any canning machine, to be honest. First have your machine dialed in and it's been calibrated is I really advise soda water. A friend of mine, one of my mates, uh, suggested that I use soda water instead of homebrew uh, the first cup runs of cans just to make sure that I had no, no leaks or anything like that. And that makes sense because it's carbonated. It's gonna let you see if your cans are holding pressure without having to make a sticky beer mess if you have a leak or just potentially waste beer. Uh, for me, that adds a whole, level, whole other level of stress because um, I've worked so hard to make the best beer that I can, usually. <laughs> make sure your cannula's on. It's easier if you're in front of it, but if I was in front of this thing, you'd only see me. Take some soda water and get it in your cans. Um, you know, this stuff, typically you'd cap on foam. So this is gonna spray a little bit more liquid out than if you're canning homebrew, I assure you. Make sure your pedestal is all the way down. Drop a can on your homebrew. Put it into the cannula, run the lever up, and then just turn it on. So now I'm gonna go over the things I really love about the Cannula Pro especially when compared to the cannula manual. Number one, I love the new pedestal. It's adjustable. You don't have to use separate adapters to get different size cans in there. That's great. As well as the base will also accept tin cans or steel cans. So if you want to preserve food or stuff like that, if you're a prepper, this machine will definitely work for you. Another thing is the new raising mechanism, or it's just, it's better. Somehow it's more stable. It goes up concentrically. It works a charm every single time. You don't have to watch it go up like the uh, other model. You need to watch it, make sure it hits that chuck perfectly. This one I found, just we'll slam it up there. The can's gonna seat in the chuck perfectly. Hit the buttons and it's gonna seam the can. Another huge pro of this machine is you don't have to have any sort of physical strength. So people with disabilities, um, people of a smaller statue, women, it, it, there's gonna be, not it doesn't require any grunt to do it. There won't be any fatigue. On the other side, if you're doing this commercially, you just push the button and go, you won't have any operator fatigue, and that's good. The other big one is cleanup. Yeah, it's still gonna make a mess. This one does not need to be bolted down, at least in my experience. The old one, uh, you needed to bolt it down because it would want to slide, especially once the surface got wet. This one does have the mounts still, which is nice, but you don't need to use them. I prefer to mount mine on top of a tray that collects anything. Then I can just pick it up and clean under it, and I don't get ants or stickiness. Nobody likes stickiness. As far as the build quality, the thing's a beast on the outside. The crackle finish looks good. It may not be your cup of tea, but hey, it's a canning machine. What do you expect? Guys, there is something satisfying about just going up to your keezer with a can that you purged of CO2, putting beer in it, walking to your seamer, hitting a button, seaming it, and then hitting the road. I mean, yes, if you want to package long term, you should use a beer gun and get all the air out. But if it's just for an hour or a day, it doesn't matter. It's super convenient to give to your friends. Someone just came over, but they don't want to drink. Oh, no, no, you're taking one home. Don't worry, no road sody. Wait till you get home and be responsible. Road sodies are bad. Just hit the button and see McCann. Watching without subscribing is, it's not okay. All right, so what do you get in the box with the Cannula Pro? Well, the name may be deceptive. You don't actually get very much. You don't get everything you need. You get the canning machine and that's it. You will also need to get a power supply. If you wanna buy one here in the States for more beer, it's about $100. I also have a video that I'll link above right here where I make a power supply for under 40 bucks that works great. You'll also need the splash guard. The splash guard itself is about 60 or $50, I believe, and it works really well. I wish it had a little bit more length. That's the, st that's the story of my life. Just a couple more inches, I think it could really use it. Uh, oddly enough, the splash guard for the Pro and the manual 
The Pro Splash Guard is $10 more, but they're the same except for some cutouts in the acrylic. All the stainless steel is the same. Huh, that's, that's strange. The Splash Guard itself, unfortunately, does not come with any sort of instructions how to assemble. Once you look at photos online, you can figure it out. It would be nice if those were included. If you guys want me to show you how to assemble this thing, comment below. Before I jump into my trials and tribulations and the negatives of the machine, I'm gonna say this. I think it's a solid buy if you have some certain skills we're about to go over. My machine, when I initially pulled the, the lid off to adjust it and it just kind of get it, take a look at it, there's this large blue plasticky nylon gear that actually wasn't engaging the, the uh, teeth on the motor's gear properly. It had a ton of play and it was just horrible. This would have worn out very quickly, I'm thinking. The steel gears would have shredded the plastic gear in no time at all. So I wound up having to fully loosen all the bolts on the inside of the canner and get everything to match up precise. That way the uh, gears had really good purchase. They all mesh perfectly together now. It's a very solid connection and it's gonna work for a long, long time, I think. So once you get this guy out of the box and set up, you're gonna have to adjust it. It does not come as adjusted from the factory. I wish it did. If it did, I think they'd have a lot more success and a lot more happy customers. You'll need a set of feeler gauges. You could also use some just a regular uh, paper. That's what I wound up using instead of the feeler gauges because some of the angles are kind of tricky to get to. Key over at Kegland, they have uh, a whole vast collection of YouTube videos. He makes really good videos actually, tutorials of his products. He has one for the manual version and most of that transfers right over to the pro. So I would encourage you to go check that out. I'll actually link that above as a very good resource if you're considering one of these machines. Obviously I was frustrated by the fact that I had to take a brand new 650 plus dollar machine and fully adjust everything, not only the can, but as well as the gears internally to get it to work. Having said that guys, I have seen over 600 cans. I've not had a single failure. It works perfectly every single time. Every time you hit the button, it seems a can spot on. I don't even worry about them leaking. I put them right in the fridge, give them to friends without even having to think twice about it because it is that reliable and that repeatable. At this price point, the Cannula Pro is unbeatable, guys. Even though I had to do some work, I would still buy it again. Based on other options or, you know, $600 more, $500 more, or a manual model that's still more expensive. That makes no sense to me. You still run the risk of operator error. And, and believe me, this operator, he makes errors, be sure. So if you can't tell, guys, I really like the Cannula Pro. I wish that they had a little bit better quality control. I wish the product came out of the box fully adjusted and ready to seam. I truthfully think if they did that, they'd have a lot more success in the market. I'm no expert, but I am a consumer, uh, a fairly picky one. So you know, take that with a grain of salt. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching the video. Remember, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I have lots more cool content planned and more content coming out, hopefully every week if I can, if I can stay on top of it. I surely will. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Bradley. Remember, home brewing is good, and I'll see you real, real soon.